we're gonna head out, we're going to do some pasture ground spraying. That might be hilly, it might have woody vegetation in it. We're gonna go get this 10 acres done. Not a lot, but I'm going to show you very detailed. Hey, good morning, Mike with New Way Egg. Waiting on Jason right now. He might be a little sore this morning because we went running yesterday, did three miles. We're training for a half marathon. But we're gonna head out, we're going to do some pasture ground spraying. Believe it or not, I would say that pasture ground spraying is probably one of the best things to spray with drones because it might be hilly, it might have woody vegetation in it. It just is a pain to spray that with ground rigs. So using drones to do pasture ground spraying is going to be a big thing that these drones can be used for. But anyhow, all that to say, we're gonna go spray some pasture grounds. Yeah, let's go. Hopefully Jason will be uh, showing up here soon and we'll get the new way trailer hooked up and then we're out of here. All right, got the new way trailer hooked up. I'm telling you what, guys, if you're looking to get into drone spraying or you might be a rancher or a farmer that wants to have drones on your ranch or farm, having the new way trailer is the best thing you could probably do for your drone operation. It's just so efficient having the flight deck up top, being able to land your drones up top. There's no mess up there. So if you're looking for a whole rig, you want the drones, you want everything, get a hold of us, newwayag.com. We're here to help you guys get into your system, getting you into your rig and teaching you how to operate it efficiently. So if you're in the market for one, get a hold of us. Man, what a beautiful sunrise. Hey, it's Jay. He decided to show up. How you feeling? You sore? I'm a little you, stiff. You're walking pretty good. Yeah, a little stiff. Yeah, here we go. Okay, Jay showed up. We're gonna go get this 10 acres done. Not a lot, but I'm going to show you very detailed how we do this, how we do the mixing, and show you what it can do. We're gonna run the T50. It has four sprinklers or four nozzles set up so we can do more gallons uh, per minute and really lay that stuff down. But here we go. We're on our way to this project and I wanted to get you some fun facts. Fun fact is, in Ohio, there's about 2 million pasture ground acres, which is about 13% of the land is what they said, which would be pasture ground. 87% of the rest of it is, you know, row crop, corn, beans, and other things. If you were to guess, Jay, how many pasture ground acres are in Texas? 40 million acres. Wrong. 100 million <laughs> pasture Holy grazing shit. acres. That's your fun fact for this morning. All right, guys, we just got to the field here. It's going to be this pasture ground. This is a perfect small pasture ground to show you how well these drones work. We have a couple of obstacles. We have the, the apple trees out there. We're gonna go ahead and get the 50 opened up. Jason's going to fly the boundary and then we're going to make the trees obstacles. And then you put that into the system and then the system will do it all on its own after that. So let's go get this uh, drone opened up and get flying. Okay, Jay is on his way back. He's got the boundary built. Now he has to swap a battery and then we'll be back out creating those obstacles. Boundary's built. Now we gotta go in here and make these little trees an obstacle. So if you look here, this is some of the stuff that's taking over his pasture ground. And so we're trying to knock that down. Obviously 
some of the stuff up here that you see here this is more nicer grass but this is taking over you can see that it's all over the place jason's just getting done creating those obstacles and then we're going to get this thing filled up and start spraying i think that's it all right let me go back in here and make these an obstacle So there you're going to uh, try the circle yeah, obstacle. That works. See how that works. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, you can just make it bigger and smaller. Yeah. Works pretty good on trees. Nice. There's a couple. There's a pile back here and a pile down here that I think we're just gonna go. Yeah. Over. Yep. Yep. Okay. So it's ten acre task i'm going to go ahead and get my pump started then we will we're going to start filling this tank right here we're going to go half you can open up that yep and then clean water starts flowing into the tank we have this gauge that we made and you can see it rise right there we're going to bring it up to about 50 right somewhere in there and then once we get it up to 50, we will start putting our chemical in. And then when we're there, we're just going to switch that off because that's where our clean water is coming from. There's other batching systems. AgriSpray made their own batching system. He sent me one, but I just haven't used it much. So now that we've shut that off, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna open this up. Now what it's doing, it's sucking out and it's circulating. So now we're just starting to circulate and then we will uh, start putting our chemical in here. All right, we got the mixed up. Jay's filling the first drone. Let's, let's get this thing done. All right, so we've uh, picked our uh, boundary area. You can see the obstacles. We're gonna go in here and we wanna spray the boundary. So if you see here that orange line right in this area, it's going to first spray all the yellow, and then it's going to do an auto boundary and the drone will fly around the edge. Save it. Okay. Up, get over the power line. Okay, here we go. So we set all the parameters. The parameters are 10 gallons an acre, 30 foot swath, nine foot high, and the drone's going to go out there and do it all on its own. It's headed out right now. All Jason is doing is monitoring. We don't have to move the sticks or anything. It'll do it on its own. Oh yeah, that's nice. Beautiful. It's just impressive how oh well they God. work. It is. It is so cool. If you go like this, no, that don't but work. The thing's got so much water on it. Yeah, I can't see it. Nice. That's a little box that we made for our controllers and also the Matrice. That doesn't come standard with the New Way trailer, but those boxes you can get pretty, basically anywhere, like at a Tractor Supply, Rural King, or something like that. But there we go. We got the, the pasture grounds done. We got it sprayed. Terrain following. Uh, we're going around obstacles. We also did the fence line. Everything, I'm telling you, so nice. If you have pasture grounds, you should really look at getting a drone or if you want to do a custom drone spraying business pasture grounds there's a lot out there that's going to need sprayed there is an opportunity here get a hold of us newag.com we will help you get your system set up we're going to get this t50 wrapped up and we're out of here last but not least you gotta throw the old super bungee. Yeah, you gotta throw the old super bungee over there. What that does is that holds the arms and the propellers in place as we go down the road. 
yeah it's called the super bungee you can get them on our website as well so all right that's all i got for you guys i really do appreciate the support that you guys have given us here at new way ag make sure to hit that subscribe button give it a thumbs up share it with your buddies and we'll see you guys around I often try to, it, it like comes out like pastor, like your pastor at church, but it's not that, it's pasture.